character's been that way since he was a young kid. What I would say about his character is he's humble and he's just a real guy. He's laid back. He's a very honest person. He um, dry, strives to do everything at 100%. Always has since he was a little kid. If it's something he likes, he puts 100% into it. Um, he's very fair. He likes to see things come together and he has a spirit of excellence. So I would say the main thing about his character, why everyone likes Manny, is because his spirit is just a magnet. He's just a humble, great individual, and I'm just blessed to be his mom. What's up? Hey, man. <laughs> What's up? Hey, man. 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 Manuel has dared to be different and he excelled since he was in elementary school, starting with academics first and then athletic sizzle. Having an older brother, he always challenged himself to be just as good. So he played at a higher level since he was younger. So daring to be different means he took the necessary steps of going on his own, leaving a familiar territory and saying, I'm going to make this happen by doing both things in the classroom and on the court and always ready to get better, no matter how much people told him he was already good. I think the biggest challenge of playing at that level coming from the Eastern Shore would be being known as that guy here when the competitions was at a lower level, then going over there where they've been playing at this level more aggressively since they were little kids, and him not being known at all. When we first walked in the gym, who was Manny Camper? He got judged mainly on his dress, being a pretty boy, none of his talent. Um, when we first walked in the door, him being able to stand alone in a gym full of teenagers his age, not knowing if he was going to be accepted, and felt he was just as good enough before anybody had to tell him is one of the things I think personally. A behind the scene challenge would be him having to prove himself harder even though he had just as much athleticism as the names that were so called already out there. Um, when he started, there were times behind the scene as a mom that I wanted to go to the coaches and have went to the coaches on different bases of if I seen that he can play in this post with no ball when we needed a, a play without the ball and they didn't give it to him, I spoke up. I think he had to prove himself even more because of where he was from, but the respect that he got in the end, it helped challenge him better as a person, aggressive wise, on the court and off the court, that he could overcome any perseverance. Prior to being on ESPN, it was a surreal moment. Like, I cannot believe my kid is going to be on television. And the Big Eight was some of the greatest players. Being on television and watching him, to see how his poise of sitting a whole half when he's not used to sitting at all, and then going in and producing. The first shot was a buzzer beater and he stole the ball and to produce at a level of being the big screen at that age the youngest kid on the team it just gave me so much excitement it gave me so much uh, I don't know if I want to say more carriage with cold feet I think I was more afraid than he was knowing that he was gonna be on that stage but just knowing that he could produce it showed me that he's ready for what's to come and this is only the beginning um, like I said I've known Manny um, ever since he was in elementary school Manny is um, a year older than my young man and they actually went to um, Garnett elementary school together um, and I can speak to his character because um, there was an incident um, that my young man um, was having on the playground with another student. Um, he was actually being bullied. And um, Manuel uh, stepped in and, and you know, helped resolve the situation in a peaceful manner. Um, you know, no one had to resort to violence or raising any voices or anything like that. The um, issues was resolved in a peaceful manner. And my young man has always looked up to him. 
um, has looked up to him ever since then. Um, and, you know, I've never said anything to Manny about it. Um, you know, my young man didn't want me to talk to him about it. Um, but, you know, I just want to say, you know, thank you at this time, you know, for, for helping him out. And um, Manny has done that um, for um, a lot of kids. I've known Emmanuel since he probably was in middle school. Um, that's where we had our first uh, interaction doing a summer youth program with athletics. Um, he was always pleasurable, always sociable, um, always well-mannered, very competitive. Um, I think he felt that he had to be a little soft because I was a female. And then when I kind of went to him and said, you play me like you play everybody else, he decided to take his intensity off. He realized he didn't have to be that nurturing type of individual. Uh, over the last four years, I've watched him in King County High School. Um, you see him, but you don't hear him. He is a, a tall, quiet giant who excels in the classroom, who flies on the court, who is determined to strive for excellence. And I, and I am so proud to have just a little bit of, 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 of his success um, beaming from the interactions that we had. So I am so proud of Emmanuel. Oh, I don't know where to start with Manny. He's always comes to class prepared, like always asking quite one of my smartest students. Um, I mean, we have a good connection, you know, joking back and forth in class, but he's always always wants to learn. He's always looking to better himself, which is you know, admirable in, in a high schooler. You know, I look back at myself, I, I didn't have the desire that he did. And he just wants to be the best that he can be. So I, I love it. I love it. Day one crew. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, with that being said, you know this is a big day for not only the county and most athletes. Uh, Manny's signing his letter of intent to go to a Division One school, Siena College. Yeah. What's your personal feeling around that? Personal feeling, man. It's it's a reward for him because he's definitely been through a lot, especially just growing up with like a single parent, and then him not only being one of the smartest out of us all, but like a personal relationship towards friendship. My brother lean on. I'm proud of him. Right. Thanks, brother. Thanks. <laughs> he worked hard for it. All them injuries that set him back, he bounced back like a champ. A uh, champ, you know. Got the breakfast. I mean, not breakfast, but lunch of a champion, you know. <laughs> well, it doesn't come at any surprise because he's a hard worker. He's diligent. Uh, persevered. He you know, came through so many different adversities, and so this is just a reward for his hard work. Um, we all here at King County High School, we knew that um, the potential was there, and and he has the work ethics. And with the support of his mom, his mom is his greatest supporter. And and as a single parent, I see how well she has raised him. Yeah. Kaylee, Stu. Oh, uh, you know, we've been friends for how many years now? Like seven? Oh, yeah, about eight, seven, seven yeah. years. Yeah, so um, we're pretty close like that. the games. All the time. Seven. I'm their number one fan. I hand it out. There's little faces of them. What else? All that. Yeah, all that. You're screaming, that's her. Perfect. Bet, 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 bet. I'm going to send that to you. 
I was driving, y'all was at the little. Uh, oh, yeah, you were at the house. I did, I did. I, see, I, see. I was like, man, just drove by. I, yeah, I seen you, I seen you. You know, this at the last I minute. I was straight jumping up and down. Was you? Yeah, was you? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I'm defeated. I'm gonna hit a home run over the bench. Okay, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Alright. I'm gonna have fun. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Could have gone over two, man. If you didn't get hurt, you've been I over know. two thousand points. I know. I know. That's like seven games in my house. I know. It's an honor, you know, he's the first kid uh, that's played for me that's uh, signed a D1 scholarship. You know, um, his career, I mean, speaks for itself. You know, he's the all-time leading scorer. You know, he averaged 28 points a game, uh, 15 rebounds, four assists, four blocks. Um, he, he was basically um, the marquee player. You know, he, he was... Uh, the North uh, Player of the Year. This is the second year he uh, won that title. Um, I mean, his accolade speaks for itself. It's amazing. I tell you what, we haven't had many D1 athletes from Kent County High School um, and have many uh, go ahead and commit to Siena to be a D1 basketball player. Um, it, 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 you know, makes me so excited to have someone like that uh, be able to do that because I know Siena is, is a pretty big time program. I know the, the coach up there, Pat Sos, who used to coach at Maryland, um, you know, I overheard him talking when he came to one of the games to cover Manny, talking about how excited he was to have Manny come there. Um, he left at halftime, and when he left, he looked at a group of us and said, I seen enough. I want him really bad. So we knew it was going to be a good fit. I knew Manny, uh, you know, Manny was looking there really hard. I'm, I'm kind of really glad he went there. I look forward to watching him and seeing him on TV. You know, Sienna's a, a, a team you see on TV quite a bit. So it's a, it's a good thing for Manny and a great thing for the high school. So so I've known Manny for four years through his high school career. Um, Manny is one of those kids that just fits anywhere. So it, it's hard to put Manny in in a box and say this is the type of friends Manny will have or these are the types of kids Manny hangs out with because everybody likes him and and I'll tell you that's really a rare find these days um, you know he just has the ability to make make people feel comfortable um, they like him and 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 above all he's I mean he's really a smart kid um, he's humble and I'll tell you Sienna uh, they are lucky to have him because he is the total package. He is a real student athlete. Um, he's coachable, um, which you don't always find that a lot of times. You know, when you have a student that, that's a pretty good athlete, um, you know, sometimes their head gets big and they think they know more than the coach does. But with Manny, he is a coachable, um, he's a coachable athlete. And I think that's, um, I think that's valuable. Signing day official for y'all. Look at the gear though. You know? I'm my suitcase frame shorts, you know? He finally, he finally got them shorts. Well, he's probably, you know? I 
I was just around, you know, 2K, you know, I had my 2000, so, you know. They're going to make the game after me, 2K. Yeah. You know? It's 2K17, Sienna.